that is a Hispanic household. Hey, welcome, welcome to the Council of Commons, Film Box Office and News. And we'll see you guys in a minute. I think my legs might be broken, but I'll, I'll try to stand up. Oh, yes, they are broken. What's good, Council of Comics? Welcome to the Film and Box Office News Live Podcast, episode number 81. Oh, the spy who shagged me, ladies and gentlemen. Give me that! The world is mine! The world is mine! Black is like the brightest day. Where are the heroes? What is good, Council of Comics? Welcome to the Film and Box Office News Live podcast, episode number 81 on this April 7th, 2024. It's been a week off. We're back doing this film business. Thank everybody for tuning in. If you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. And as always, we have the loyal council, green shirt guy, Cliff C. Bizzle, and uh, Phil is at a baseball game watching us right now. So enjoy that baseball game. How you guys doing? Well, first and foremost, I want to just say this movie R.I.P. Jerry Springer. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. Part of my he was part of my childhood. Well, my teenage years. Yeah, Jerry Springer. <laughs> Bro, a lot yeah. of love. A lot of love to a lot. I of remember this before when Jerry Springer was the boring show. Yes, before same here. Doing all the crazy <laughs> stuff. I remember. Yeah. I, I'm old enough to remember that. <laughs> Uh, I also remember uh, when he was the, the mayor of Cincinnati. Yes. Wow. And I remember, remember what yeah. the scandal was that got him out of office? No. He was paying for women of the street, and he got caught because he used he paid for it with a check. Oh my god! <laughs> Adults. <laughs> Let's say what's up to Las Cruces. He's in the house. Thank you for joining us from New Mexico, Las Cruces. Big Lion Cat 646 saying what up from Pennsylvania. Thank you for joining us. John's Comics with Kids. Yo, yo, yo. What's good? Thank you for joining us. Uh, Black Crown Comics is also in the house. Thank you. And Cliff, what? Black Crown Comics says, what are we cooking up, Cliff? Um, pasta with asparagus and a garlic sauce. Ooh, asparagus. You know, like, I like asparagus. <laughs> Spare me the asparagus. He just wants his pee to smell funny tomorrow. <laughs> that's because you haven't had a real man cook for you. That's why. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. All righty. Shots fired. Um, all right. So let's get into the things that we usually do in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Young and Heart Foundation, this is a great organization out in California by our good friend Mike. Uh, faith, Trust, Belief is their motto. They have they do great things for kids waiting medical procedures out in California. There are two ways that you can help out with this organization. First way is to become a donor. More than 100,000 people are waiting for a life-saving transplant. You can help by registering as an organ donor today by going to the website and hitting this button right here for Donate at Life of America. The second way you can help is to sponsor a Hope Kit that's 100% tax deductible. They take all the funds and create these nice little gift boxes for the kids. It's great, great, great stuff. You want to help out that way or in other ways, give Mike a call at 323 326-9998 or email them at info at youngatheartfoundation.com Alternative Us, this is our home away from home where we do all our filming for weekly. Uh, We get all our comic books and we come together, we talk, we cry, we laugh, we fight. We do so many things over there. It's run by our good friend Anthony. Uh, They have comics, cards, toys. They have the Hudson Valley's biggest selection of comic books everything's bagged and boarded and if you start a pull list with them no matter where you are 
He will take 10% off those books for you. Get in touch with Anthony at 845-233-4234 or email him at Alterniverse2 at AOL.com. And the website is Alterniverse.net. They also have card tournaments on the weekend, uh, Pokemon, Lorcana, Magic, and so forth. Get in touch with Anthony. Um, he will give you the schedule for that. On YouTube, we got our channel, Council Comics 821. We're looking for some more subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe list uh, button right now and become a subscriber. We uh, had a little lax because, you know, I was a little hurt this week. I couldn't do too much, but we did some fun stuff. The guys did a little fun little thing intro right there. We put up a council conversation. Um, we have tons of other stuff on the channel. Love for you guys just to hit that subscribe button and help out. We also have Cliff on Comics. Uh, Cliff, you want to say something about your channel real quick? We got a channel where I just talk about comics, comics I bought, people I meet buying comics, everything about buying comics, and Crisis Quest, which I'm very proud of. And, you know, I I'm, it takes a lot of time, so I'm basically doing once a month right now. So look forward to one coming towards the end of April. Excellent. I'm going to have some special guests. It's going to be lovely. Excellent. So... Like and subscribe to Cliff on Comics. And C. Bizzle, you want to say something about your channel? Yeah, so my channel is right now, is, is mainly unboxings of comic books. You see good books like, you know, Avengers 223, Infinity Gauntlet, uh, the new series, uh, Rook and Red Coat, stuff like that. Um, I'm doing more um, different things this year than I have in the years past, uh, like going to cons and uh, actually doing story time videos. Excellent. Please like and subscribe to Couch and Slouching with C. Bizzle. I keep looking over here with the camera over here. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all the support. All right. It's been a big week. Yes. It's been a lot of things. I've yes. gotten into some arguments. Um, because, oh, you know, I've seen that. There's, there's just trolls. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just, they just want to <laughs> argue with you. Just to oh argue my with lord! You. Could you not refer to this particular incident as gonna... just a troll? <laughs> <laughs> like, Can we not I had, I had no issue with this. Just a troll. <laughs> I had no issue with this, with this troll. But um, they just decided oh, they just wanted to like, well, say some craziness. And um, first off, wait a minute. Shout out to Kamaria's in the house. Thank you for joining us. Circumstances in the house. Thank you for joining us. Comic is in the house. Thank you for joining us. Um, so I'm going to bring up the first subject that's got everybody going bananas and acting real trolly. I hope you guys are ready. All right. They got, they're real trolly about this. They're real trolly about this. <laughs> you guys stop for that word. Why? That's what they are. Because um, you're, you're, you're because we're not talking about a standard troll situation, but go ahead. Uh, the Fantastic Four cast Julia Garner as its Silver Surfer. This has got everybody that doesn't know about comic books but acts like they know about comic books going bananas. Mm -hmm. um, it's really showing the light, in my opinion, of people who, who don't really know comic books. Um, they're making videos upon videos upon videos, and all their thumbnails are the same. Why? Why? We still doing this woke stuff? Why? This is that. So I wanted to bring it on here for us to discuss this. Um, she's being cast as Silver Surfer. And to be clear, this is why I don't get like people just look at one thing. And they don't study stuff. The Fantastic Four of the MCU are going to be from an alternate universe. Yep. That's the main subject. She is going to play the Silver Surfer of that universe. Correct. Which means there will be a Norn Rad for the MCU universe. Also correct. But they just don't even want to look at that. They don't even want to care about it. They just want to call, oh, we're still doing this woke thing. We're still doing this blah, blah, blah. This movie trash. The same stuff we've seen for like the Marvels and all that. So I just like to see. What, what, I like to get the council's opinion on this. Mm hmm. So people, 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 whoever I, wants to go first. Mine's fairly nuanced. I have a bunch of pieces in mind. Just stay with it. Um, I really don't care. They, I, I think it's dumb to go to, to start them in another universe and bring them in. One, that's but if you're gonna do that, I'm fine with this. I'm absolutely fine with it. My if I have a complaint about choosing this actress, she's a great actress. She was amazing in um, what was that show with uh, her and Bateman? I'm blanking. Ozark. She's amazing in it. However, 
she's rail thin. So you're going to have to bulk her up for her to look anything superhero like. Right? Mm-hmm. That's, I mean, but granted, that's she one. will be CGI, so that wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Like, uh, they, Yeah, all right. They could and fit then, it around her body, what I'm saying with CGI. What I would say to the woke thing is you can't argue that Disney had done that for a very long time so that their track record is doing that. So people's reaction, you're correct. There are many people who don't have the comic knowledge across everything that are reacting that way. But playing devil's advocate, again, I don't really care because whatever. That's, based on that track record, I think that's where you're getting a lot of that too. Yeah. Anybody else? I'm okay with it. Tane, also, from a business standpoint, dumbass move on their part, okay? Read the damn room. Read <laughs> the f- numbers that, that are dropping for your theatrical releases, okay? Yeah, that's true. I, mean, I don't agree with people's behavior, and I think a lot of it can get disgusting. But from a business standpoint, why would you do this, you dumbasses? Like, especially when you've developed distrust in the people viewing your stuff, even the right. people. But isn't that? Faith, like me, I understand like what you're me. saying, but isn't that giving the trolls what they want? I don't care. You want to make money, or do you want Disney to go bankrupt next week? Because if you, you, know, if, you want, if you appease them, they're seats. just gonna do this what every time. Seats. But the if thing you, is, they keep they keep doing us dirty. Okay, they do they do what they do, and they're not giving us high quality at the same time. Brandon, you know? yeah. that's and it. I really yeah. love the Marvels, and you I, know that. I. I, I I agree on that. It's been subpar quality. But I well, think and, and, this is uh, going to be a new era in Marvel, though. I I, I agree with Cliff, too. That's, and that's not even a, 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 a thought. But that's, Cliff, we're agreeing more and more. We I don't, I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> it's terrifying. Uh, but yeah, it's but, fine. But I mean, from a bi- he's absolutely right. From a business standpoint, there's nothing wrong with doing this story. But when you're you're in a a, a valley with your your sales, maybe go with the safe one and then introduce this later. But what if what if this story is great though? What if she's only for this movie? It very she dies well in this movie. It very well may be. It may be the best story they've ever told. However, if you're not going to get anybody to come see it because they're already pissed off on your last three or four movies. It, Wait to do that. Wait till you, because let's let's be honest. Uh, uh, there's a handful of us that went Guardians of the Galaxy, but all right, I'll go with it. Di- Marvel's got a track record of doing a bunch of good movies in a row. I'll give it a shot, and they knocked it out of the park. So, um, and then they did that a couple times. So you're like, all right, well, I'll give them, a, I'll give them a pass, even if if one of these is bad. But now they've had a couple in the row in a row. We're like, eh, it was okay, it wasn't great. So, uh, Comic Cat Collectibles fireworks about to start. Oh boy. Circumstances go won't go broke. Am I right, guys? Um, Iowa goes down. Larry's like, so they're doing the Austin Universe first before the M- main MCU. Yeah, I'll speak about that in a second. Larry's with Green Shirt Guy. Papa Wheelie's in the house, by the way. Say what's up. What up, Papa Wheelie? Uh, Papa, Papa Wheelie says dumb dumbasses. <laughs> um, yeah. Larry's Larry's with Cliff also. Um, Larry says, Sam, you have too much trust in the MCU. Uh, it's not that I have trust in the MCU. I I felt I have a lot of trust in Kevin Feige. Um, and and it's coming from a place where they've actually, after the Marvel stopped, they brought everybody to this one place. They actually sat down and they said something went wrong and we're gonna fix it right now. And they've canceled projects and everything, and I feel like they're on that path to to correcting everything. And I think this is part of that path. Um, circumstances, I'm down for it. All the crying now won't matter if it's good. Exactly. So let it be good. That's true. That's true. Um, so the thing, Larry, I want to get back to you, what they're doing. Well, what's rumored is that when we, when the Fantastic Four movie starts, the Fantastic Four will be as big as the Avengers in their universe. There'll be a huge super team, super famous, um, and Galactus will come to try to eat the Earth, and Galactus will eat the earth and something will go wrong causing the fantastic four of that universe to be either pushed or something into the mcu 616 
that's the story of so far of what that movie is supposed to be. And the reason why they're doing this is because they have plans for Norrin Rad in the MCU 616. But since that's an alternate universe, they wanted to try this. And then she'll probably die fighting Galactus or something in this movie. And then when they meet the new Silver Surfer, they'll be like, oh, you're different than the one we've had before. Um, when there, I, when there a, a actor that says that, hey, I thought that was supposed to be me, he tweeted it out and then he immediately yep. deleted it. Yeah, oh, I forget what right. his, yeah, I forget what his name is, but I believe he's the one they cast for Norrin Rad, mm. and uh, they didn't want that to get out to shit, so he got well, a little confused. Yeah, he put it out there, and um, so there is going to be a Norrin Rad Silver Surfer. My thing on this is the people that just jump. Like, they see this, and they're like, I don't want... I had a discussion with the guy on Instagram, and he was trying to say, well, I made a post a while ago saying that, you know, that this wasn't going to happen. But if it did happen, I, would be, I wouldn't care. I'd be happy about it because it would make all you trolls mad. Uh, so it came through. So they wanted to bring that thing up. But I had to relate to him. I was like, the reason why these movies are failing are because of people like you. Because you don't like see the stuff. movie... You haven't seen the movie, yet you're telling everybody that it's trash. You're telling everybody that it's garbage, causing people who are not into it like us, who are going to see it anyway, to be like, I'm not going to go spend my money on this. Like, well, they're, they're, they're not, not the fair, total cause, reason. Cause you they're not the total reason. See it no matter what. That's what you I said. You are going to see it no matter what. That's what I said. We're yeah, going to go see it. People like us aren't going to go see You and I are going to go no, see no, it. No, no. I said people so like us are going to. No, no, I said oh. people like us are going to go see it. Oh, I'm but sorry. The I'm but the saying. average person that hears these people talking about this, they're going to be like, ah, I don't want to see it if it's going to be like that. And they're responsible for this. Like Cliff said, the Marvels wasn't a bad movie. It, it should have made, okay. made a way more than what it did. But, but, it also, did, but again, because But it didn't of because their... of that troll atmosphere. Well, no, have, because they're poor planning, planning and execution. Love and Thunder did zero favors for anybody. Quantum Mania, but I like Quantum Mania. I like and I like Quantum Mania well. a lot too. But but you got you got Love and Thunder, you got Quantum Mania, you got Marvels, Bang 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 that were all panned. You know, there's a there's a little distrust with the MCU right now. Oh, and that's totally there's, understandable. There's, there's the diehards like us are going to spend the money no matter what. Yeah, totally understandable. And I think a lot of this is going to change once Deadpool and Wolverine come out. Um, when that, here's, here, what happens if, if that movie doesn't do what you think it does? Do you really think that movie's not going to do? Well? I'm not saying. No, that. Do you, no, no. I'm, do you know what I'm afraid of? I'm, doing I'm the afraid that way. movie will do very well and be very well received, and they will backpedal to whatever dumb shit has been on their mind and their plate. That's what I'm very worried about. They, no, this so. is not a time to be banking on goodwill. It is not, all right? They need to be strategic, great. and I don't care. Trolls or no trolls, stop doing dumb shit, you know? 100%. So, like, I couldn't agree I more. don't know. Maybe they needed that guy. Maybe they needed that guy to slip up, slip up and say, oh, I thought I was supposed to be Silver Surfer. Maybe they needed that so that they could set the tone for a, for a master plan. But let me tell you, I try to have, I, I've given them good faith before and been bitten in the butt. So now I'm just like, hey, just stop. Just stop being. Just but stop. You being. said you liked the movies. How were you bitten in the butt? Because I did not like Love and Thunder. The Marvels I, I love, but the damn cats. The cats is absolutely like horrible for me. I'm glad it happens at the end of the movie. Otherwise, it would ruin it because it takes me out of the movie. The damn cats. Are we? That said, um, is you it, know, what? every time I rewatched Love and Thunder, I li I liked it less to the point where I can't watch it. Um, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. I really liked it the oh, first. Oh, I forgot two times. about that movie. I liked it the first two times. Now I rewatch it and I get mad at every single unfought plot point. You know, I'm again visually great and acting solid, but like also like the writer didn't even watch all of WandaVision. I was like, guys, like the things that the, you have not learned the mistakes. Huge mistake in Star Wars. The final script of the first movie wasn't done when you had dude working on the movie number two. Stop making dumb moves. Just stop. But, all right. All right. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Um, I just, I, I, are we wrong for want to expect everything to be amazing? No. The thing is, they went too hard. 
too much, too fast, okay? They give a show after show, movie after movie, stupidly thinking that they could just capitalize, capitalize, capitalize by pushing. They have reached a point where the quantity is more than the quality. They need to really reassess and dial it back more than we got, we got word from Variety Magazine that they had a big talk about how they have to address the future. Okay, so now we gotta earn our trust. And oh, I agree. just yeah. poking the fire, poking the fire with trolls and everyone else, you know, let's not pretend that, Super, is that Silver Surfer does not have a fandom. The character's over 30 years old. He has a fandom, you know? I mean, yes, it's not the, the ranks of where Iron Man is now, but Iron Man yeah. did not have the ranks he had in 2000, after 2008. Prior to 2008, it's like, who's Iron Man? The Invincible Iron Man. And then Iron Man came out amazing. You know, uh, they got a course. They got a course correct. Black Panther. Black Panther. I love the second movie. I really appreciate. It. I understood what was being presented to me. Right. That movie was really about grief and 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 power and and war and conflict and and all. It's so deep. Right. I know what he did. But when you have the majority of fans screaming, we want Black Panther. You know, I mean, I'm, they look. They set the tone. They I think they messed the up there. The they should have so that we have a potential future Black Panther. I think they should have recast. Cool. It. They should have recast. But yeah, they should recast. When you look back, as disrespectful as it may have been, you don't think they should have recast it? I, I initially thought that, but once they, I saw what they did, I'm fine with it. I'm a hundred percent. I'm okay with what they did. I'm okay with what was received. But yeah, what. I think it's, I think, I think Chadwick story, Boseman I think Chadwick Boseman would have been uh, would have been more of recast. You can't yeah. You know what I mean? I, 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 maybe. Maybe. You know, yeah. but again, we are also asking too much of human beings, right? The people involved, they are still recovering from the loss of someone that they worked with, got to know, got to befriend, right? So asking them to do a movie with a recast might have been a lot to ask of this large group of individuals. Right? I mean, and let's be honest here too. They they soft recast some of the, the Avengers already. Yes. It was not well received. You know, in the comics, Sam becomes Captain America. We all know that. Yeah. Does everybody know that? No. And that pissed off a lot of people. I think it's stupid, yeah. but it pissed off a lot of people. So they're machine. probably going... They didn't like when we did this. They didn't like when we did this. Let's leave back Black Panther alone. Okay. Uh, Larry says Black Panther 2 without Black Panther. Love and Thunder, Disney Plus shows, Marvel's Eternal, certain parts of Doctor Strange 2, some parts of Ant Man 2. Not good. I really enjoyed and, Eternals. And Larry, Larry says the cliff, Black Panther 2 was garbage. <laughs> no. See, that's why I was looking at Look at it. Was no, not, that was a no. beautiful freaking movie, okay? Beautiful that, movie. You can't tell I me love, that that was oh, yeah. garbage, like the plot sucks. Yeah. But that's yeah, the thing with the whole community. Movie. Everybody has a different opinion, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, who you, who you go for? How do you know who you're going to please? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the, uh, but the thing is, you got the feedback, right? You got the worldwide feedback. Start planning. Plan hard. Right. You know, get ready and get people excited. Now, mind you, it is true. They took a major blow, a major blow from Jonathan Majors. That was bad for them. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I will give them that. Yeah. And like, like Sam said, I remember when they were talking about they was going to cut back on all these movies and re, uh, re is more quality than quantity now. So that's what I'm hoping with this Fantastic Four movie. And if it says, if, if it goes the same way you said, Sam, like they get knocked into the system of the universe, that'd be great. And then they yeah. could be, that could be the forewarning of Galactus that he took out our multi universe. Now he, could, he might take over ours. Well, yours. Like the, late, the latest rumor is that. See what Marvel plans to do is destroy the six one six with Secret Wars, and then after Secret Wars, bring all these universes together in a cohesive universe. Like this, so, it's so the X Men. Yeah, yeah, that's basically what they're doing. Now, do they make Doom God or do they not make Doom God? Doom is supposed to be in Fantastic Four. 
Well, no, I'm saying the, the, when they do that full, everything does this. Yeah, like God Emperor Doom you're talking right. about, right? Yeah, I would think so. You know what I mean? Because that's be interesting. Now, did they cast Doom? Do we know? No. They have, Wait. but they have not told anybody who it so is So for me, my Doom, and I don't, you know, they, may do not, they probably won't do this. For me, my Doom is a very good looking guy who has a real small scar here. And that's why he wears the mask because he's so vain that he thinks he's ugly over this little nothing. <laughs> that that's what they've done. Do and they've done that in the comics. So that's yeah. my doom. If they, and, if they, and, they probably won't do that. They'll probably do something who's yeah. horribly disfigured, you know, a la Phantom of the Opera. But and that's fine. But that's my doom. I that's my favorite one. My my guess is that um, they're gonna change Avengers Five, the, the Kang thing. And that Doom, have to at this point, he'll right? come in at the end of that to like destroy whatever Kang Council, and then he'll be the major villain for the Secret Wars that, that come up. I mean, that's that's what I think. Comic Cat Collectibles, the only you, thing you that was complete Doom? trash from MCU was She Hulk and Secret Invasion. Secret Invasion wasn't bad. I didn't they were the decent. Thing. They the were last, decent. I didn't like the end. It was, that's the thing, but it didn't live up to what it could have been, right? Uh, it didn't, t- it didn't go anywhere. Nick Fury ends that series beaming up with his with his wife. When we next see him in freaking the Marvels, no mention of the wife, no mention of, of, of Secret Invasion. And Carol, Carol is partly responsible for displacing a whole other group of scrolls. And we're just not going to discuss it in that film. Well, poor freaking plan. Poor plan. But well, to, but to, be, to, to be fair, a handful of these Disney Plus Marvel shows we don't fully get where it is on the timeline. Cause tell me where yeah. tell me where Moon Knight is. Yeah. Nobody You know where it is on the timeline? You know where it is on the timeline? Dumbassery. That's where the timeline. The part where it's dumbassery, that's where the timeline. Well, the part 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 where it's the, 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 the day is dumbassery. Like dude, like you know, I love this stuff. I wanna love this stuff. I want us all to love it. I want us all to enjoy it. You know, I want it to I want it to be everything to everyone. But at the same time, I can't deny certain things like dumbasses. Don't do this shit out of order. You're playing games with us. Things like that. Hmm. All right. Yeah, All right they uh, did, when they did the M, the, M, the the phase one, it was out of order because we didn't get Captain. But America. there was, Who's but the dude, there was complete Avengers? warning. There was complete warning. You were told exactly where things were landing on the timeline. You know. Everyone knew Captain America was going to take place in the past. There was no secret about it. You know? Well, it seems, yeah. I, I, just, I, just I, I got what I expected from down. this subject. It's all over the place, pretty much. Um, did anybody watch this? Shit, when I'm telling you, when I'm the one in the group telling you that they got to wake up and pull, pull it together, you know they fucked up. You know it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because when Cliff says it, you know it, right? <laughs> well, that's what I knew that... Uh, <laughs> What he, with that, that I mean, I knew the Mad Web movie was gonna be bad, but when Cliff had nothing good to say about it, I'm like, this must be real bad. Facts. <laughs> Who watched the season finale of Invincible? I, I'm I've watched it. Oh my goodness! Uh, no. This was this was great. This was really really good. Um, I I, you have to watch it. Uh, it, it we literally. St- like me and Kamara are watching it, and we're, there was breathtaking moments like, oh my God, this, oh my God, oh my God. Um, he has little fun moments where he jumps around to other people's universes. He kind of meets like Spider Man and Batman and all that. Um, he goes into the Walking Dead universe. Um, <laughs> uh, but it's basically Invincible. Uh, he, he figured out that he needs to learn how to control himself, or else he is going to become like his dad. Um, <laughs> And is that Wayne Brady that does that voice, Cliff? For who? For that for um, arm, arm. What's his name? Le- Levi, <laughs> the villain. Oh, for the villain? I don't know. I forgot to look. Sounds just like Wayne Brady. It um, could be, but shame on me for forgetting to look. You know, yeah, my favorite funny. part about that show is, and I, again, I had never finished season one just because I got busy. Is the fact that Re- Reginald Bell Johnson plays a pre- prince, principal. Principal Reginald Bell Johnson. Johnson. I love it. All right, so we won't talk too much because nobody here has really seen it, but Invincible is pretty dope. You got to go watch that. All right, well, let's get into the box office this week. Alexa, stop. 
Godzilla vs. Kong, the new empire, still at number one with 31 million. Um, it did drop 30. See that? It dropped 60%, though. It That's okay, 60%. but you see that? You see how somebody knows how to please their audience? Right. Exhibit A. Exhibit A. <laughs> Give them yeah. what they want. I hear good things about it. I hear it's very simple, and they just, you know, there's a lot of kaiju fighting around. Yeah, um, exactly, because that's what you want when you hear Godzilla. I mean, Godzilla Minus One was a very special imported treat that was a miracle on a smaller budget, and I love it. Don't get me wrong. But when it comes to this, Godzilla X Kong, that's it. Godzilla times Kong. It's great. Did anybody here see it? No. A couple of people worked on it no. said it was good. No, none of us have seen it. <laughs> no, I saw it. You know, it's <laughs> you know? I'll eventually see it because because you guys know games. The three, three, two of you know games. <laughs> My eight, seven year old is huge in Godzilla movies. <laughs> <laughs> That's his thing. We, we started watching Monarch. I'm like, I don't know if this might be too much. He's like, no, let's keep going. I'm like, all right. Uh, Monkey Man debuted at number two with a 10 million opening. Um, that's a Dave Patel, uh, who which he wrote, directed, produced everything in that movie. Yes, uh, he did. Yes, broke his arms, legs, got eye infections, got did everything. Yeah, but, yeah but I hear he's. Gr I hear the movie's great. I hear it's a great movie. Um, now that I want to see. Ghostbusters still at number three, only made nine million, dropped forty-two percent. Um, I think it's been a disappointing outing for Ghostbusters. Um, people aren't really going to see. I still it. gotta go see that. Yeah, I want to see it because I am a Ghostbusters fan. Um, I, I want to see it too, but you know what? We're garbage for not going to see it and support that movie. We really are because I mean, we should be the first ones out there. We that's should. True, but and true. to make it, it worse, the way everyone like, it was fine. It was I fine. When doing... you keep hearing it was fine, it doesn't encourage I you saw, to go oh, running out uh, to the theater to watch it. Yeah. Dune Part 2 is in, at number 6. Uh, me and Kamari went to see Dune last Great, night. Great, right? Eh. Whoa. Eh. He's not the only person I heard say that. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I, I mean, if, if you're you? into Dune, if you're yeah. into Dune, it's probably really phenomenal. But yeah. like, I never read the books. Most of the time, we were sitting there like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> like, did you rewatch the first one, though? Yeah, we watched the first one, too. Um, Before you went, did you rewatch re it? No, 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 no. We didn't rewatch. See, it. if you watch it, you'll remember where, well, kind of where all the characters. Yeah, are. it was just very. Um, I don't know. Like it's it's like Star Wars, but without the space. You know what I mean? Like it's like this intergalactic thing going on, but you don't really see a lot of intergalactic stuff. It's just really on this one. Planet. I don't know. I feel like it, I feel like it's Game of Thrones in outer space. You know, with a heavy, with a heavy splash of the Bible, and you just go wild with it. I mean, I yeah. love it. It's absolutely insane, and it's fantastic. But I, I saw people like comparing it, like calling it one of the greatest sequels of all time, and I was like, oh, yeah, no. that's I a mean, stretch. That's for, a stretch. For that series, it's difficult to argue. Like comparing it to like Empire Strikes Back, like it's different, stretch. Though. It's different, but they're completely yeah. different. This one is a. This one, we're lucky that there's action because really, although there's action in the books, it's mostly a heavy duty, uh, per, um, a heavy duty, like prophetic political drama, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And so, I, did, like, I mean, I didn't like the, the fact that when we realized that he was just playing, he was playing them all along. The, well, the Chalamet guy, he was playing, he was, pl he was playing he them the whole time. I think he just finally accepted his fate. I think no, he, he accepted. I think he, he fell in love them. with Zendaya, he, but his plan was was not to really do what they wanted him to do. His plan was to become the emperor. No, only when he realized it was too late at the end of the first movie, yeah. he realizes the choice he should have made was lost. He made yeah. the wrong choice already, and that's it. That was the only timeline where he could have backed out of this, and he blew it. And that happens in the first movie. In this one, he has to accept his fate because all those visions, all those ones, and all 14.5 billion outcomes of the multiverse, that he blew the and, one and, chance. And, and if you notice, he's kind of fighting it the whole time because he keeps going, I'm not going to go south. I'm not going to Right, he doesn't even want to kill the dude. He doesn't right. want to kill the dude who's supposed to be his friend. 
and he yes. ends up having to kill him because he already blew the chance. Well, here's the That's part that got me in Kamaria, though. This is the part that got me in Kamaria. If the prophecy is fake, right? It's not though. It ends up not being though. But because... that's what I mean. If the prophecy was something that they made up um, to get this going, the whole water of life thing. How is that even happening? See, well, I think because his ecologist the water great of life grandfather thing. is the one who discovered it, and because those, and because the people on that planet are have their their legends and lore and religion have been have been outfitted by the Je Benny Jesuit. Yeah, they are like, oh my God, this guy is talking about bringing paradise to our world, and that's where it begins. And this is why I'm pissed off because that scene that I'm talking about is not in any movie, and it should be. That is in the appendices of the first book. It's called the Ecology of Doom, and it is amazing and sets the whole tone for everything. The other thing is Zendaya's mother. They do not address her as who she truly is. Or the fact that she's a Benny Jesuit in the first movie. In the first is book. She? I didn't, yeah, oh, wow. Dude, that makes that's that. a big point right there. Yeah, but I know they do. Which is not do, but why she Richard, what I'm saying is they don't, they don't tell the audience. They show the audience. And, like, I'm sitting with people that I have to explain to. And I I, I know that we shouldn't have to explain everything in a movie. But sometimes you got to should tell people. You got to be like, yo, look what's up here. She doesn't speak the line that she speaks in the book. Right, the line she speaks in the book is the prophecy that lets um, his mom know that oh shit, we're on that planet. She just said, "If I'm the one sent here to save them, oh no!" Like that's a big, big, big deal in the book. Um, you know, oh look, Phil's treehouse is down. Like the prophecy was man manufactured, but the bloodline <laughs> manipulation was real. Very true. Yeah. And I <laughs> love, I love, I love how pissed the Betty just are. They're like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is it that we put our eggs in two baskets and now we're going to have them fight to the death? I love that. <laughs> well, I also love, too, that their, their whole plan was never to have it be a male, too. They're like, we wasted all this these resources for it to be a guy. It should have been a, yeah. a, a, a female this whole time. If we had just I know. I love it. I love, I love how it all happens. So I'm guessing yeah. that the third movie is supposed to be a time jump, right? No, it's got to be a battle for that planet. Though. There's no time jump? Not after, not after the third one. The third one will not be a time jump. Mm. So I'm assuming I'm assuming movies three and four will oh, be... I thought it was only three. Holy no, God. there's wow. like six, seven books. Well, I know that, but I didn't... Wow, okay. No, yeah. but they did approve two more movies. They approved wow, two more okay. movies. Hey. It's uh, Dune, Messiah, and then Children of Dune. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So... I mean, I think they could do it. We'll it's, see. We'll it's see. epic in nature. It see, again, Phil Treehouse knows. Third movie is books two. It's book two of the series. Time jump is between book three and four. There you go, man. There you go. All right. All right. And it um, looks gorgeous. You can't argue that. No. No, no. It looks phenomenal. It looks I also good. love the when they go to the planet, uh, what, the Harkonnen planet? And how Black it's and planet. white. And how it's like Sunday. negative space. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they filmed so that in, in a different camera. They filmed it in yeah. a camera that would make it look just like that. Um, but yeah, visually stunning. Oh, aggressively relaxing. What else? He says there are 23 Doom books. My goodness. There's no way they're doing that. There, there's they're no not way. doing that. There's no way they're doing that. No. But, I, you know, now that I've seen part two, I have to see part three. Because I need I need some kind of like... Wait, what do you call it? I need some fulfillment. See, I, I thought they were doing three. I didn't realize they were going to keep going. That's wild. Yeah, it's, if they make money, man. That's what they do. Yeah. Um, Someone like you debuted at number seven, Wicked Little Letters. Uh, number eight, Arthur the King, Immaculate, Late Night with the Devil, Love Lies, Bleeding, Imaginary, In the Land of Saints. All right, so that's basically What's your top like you? Someone like you is. If I see the poster, I'll probably know right away. Based oh, on the oh, novel oh. by number one Times best-selling author Karen Casey, someone is an was an achingly beautiful love story. After the tragic loss of his best friend, a grieving young architect launches a search. For... Oh my goodness! We we saw the commercial for this where we thought, "What the hell is this?" So his girlfriend dies, but he finds out that the girlfriend has a twin. So he's gonna go. So he, so he goes to find the twin, and then he starts falling in love. They both fall in love again. We were like, Yo, "What that's the heck?" Creepy, right? That's. I was like, well, "Who thought of this?" Pass. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I'm passing on that one. 
<laughs> oh my god, that was real mm. cringe. Well, that's like mm. old school, like that was the thing back in, like, you know, way back when. If, if you're, you know, many families had multiple children, right? So, like, if 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 you're the younger brother of, of so, you know, so let's, let's, let's just for example, I'm the older brother, Sam, you're my younger brother, and I pass away and you're not married. The idea was you're supposed to marry my wife so everybody yeah. would still remain whole and carry on the bloodline and you know she wouldn't starve and the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was not yeah. unusual back then. Yeah, yeah. But to go find her twin sister, that's kind of messed up. That's pretty pretty cringe. All right. Your homework for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Brought to you by Green Shirt Guy. <laughs> Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. Yeah, oh, baby. Wow. Yeah, baby. Oh my God! This movie. Oh, 1999. Uh, it's a movie directed by Jay Roach, uh, written by Mike Myers once again. Um, Doctor Evil is back and has invented a new time machine that allows him to go back <laughs> to the 1960s and steal Austin Powers' mojo, inadvertently leaving him shagless. I love the opening, the opening of this because it's very much it just clearly a spoof of Bond because that yes. song that's playing in the yeah. background is a hundred percent a Bond thing. Yeah. 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 Ooh, I'm just waiting for you know him to yell Thunderball or something. Like that, so. <laughs> <laughs> the beginning was funny when you find out that the, the leading lady from the last movie was just a fembot. Fem <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, because she didn't come back. Yeah, but she came yeah. back for the beginning of the movie. Like I listen. think they filmed that scene during the filming of the last one and was on the cutting room floor. Oh. I wouldn't be shocked if that's what happened. I don't think she came back just for that. Gotcha. Yeah. That's it would make that's... sense if you're filming all this stuff and then the ending's different, and then you're like, no, we'll, we'll end it here instead. Yeah. yeah. Um, He gets his teeth fixed in this movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was funny when he goes when he goes back to 1960. Yes. His teeth come back. Reverse, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he, and he, and he immediately goes. <laughs> <laughs> there. What when Doctor Evil goes to go back in the past and he runs into the thing and just goes so not turned on them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, for 1999, this was pretty good. Yeah, yes. had some pretty good effects for 1999. Um, and, and the funny thing is, this is gonna be an omission for myself. I hate time travel in movies. I can't stand really? it. Really? There's only a oh few my god! Movies. Don't say that in front of Papa. Don't say yeah. that. There's only a few <laughs> movies that I'm okay with, but for the most part, no, I don't like time travel at all. I did love that before he goes back into the past uh basil turns it basically says don't don't think too much your brain will turn into yeah, yeah. hey when he said that i said like, he's talking to me right. <laughs> he's talking to me i was go. like i said okay i'm gonna sit back and enjoy this <laughs> and i did was, i can't remember how much i laughed like i thought the first one was funny but this one is funnier than the first i one. think this one's better than the first one too yeah yeah uh, yes. It had a lot of new things in it, like um, Mini Me. <laughs> Mini Me, yeah. yeah. Mini and Me was a big part of that. Fat Bastard was a part of this. Um, <laughs> him doing the songs. Yes. He didn't really do the songs in the first one. He did the yeah. the two songs. That was pretty mm -hmm. pretty funny. Um, yeah. He stepped it up for the sequel. Yeah. He stepped it up. Um, How does I that feel, it. baby? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the Jerry Springer scenes was great. Yeah. Um, just when Doctor Evil came and, and said, "We found your father." The whole oh, the whole Doctor Evil uh, taking a sip of the mojo, and what happened yes. transpired after uh -huh. that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then Frau Frau Desna with her with her hair down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, is that a mullet? <laughs> <laughs> I, will um, his, love, I will never love another man. Actually, that's true. True. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, Scott. Man. Scott is back in this one. Yeah. Um, hey, that was the origin of Scott's birth. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yes. Um, 
What other things in this? Uh, oh, Heather, Graham, yeah. Heather Graham is now the leading lady yes. of this movie. Um, she won't be back. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, how about when, when they, they catch them at one point and Fat Pastor comes in and kind of owns up, or not owns up, but spills the fact that that they, you know, they slept together and he's going on and on and on. And Dr. Evil <laughs> all right, that's enough. But that's just gross. Yeah. <laughs> but he also, like, I like the times where, like, Mike Myers shines through with, like, his acting. When he was yeah. a bad bastard and he was, like, he was explaining, I eat because I'm unhappy and I'm unhappy because I eat. Like, yeah. I felt that. I was like, yeah. yo, that's... Yeah. And that's one of my yeah. favorite parts of that, too. <laughs> Those little was, moments like that are great. It was um, crazy when it, when the, they, everybody tried to describe the rocket as it was going through space. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. And there's a lot of actors in those too. Yeah. 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 So it was, it was, it was That's what I said. There's a lot of new stuff in here that made it funnier than the first one. Well, how about when he's trying to convince Heather Graham to go back to the future with him? She's like, "Well, but I'll miss this, the '60s and the '70s." He's like, "Or the '70s and the '80s." He's like. Well, the only you're gonna miss is a gas shortage and a flock of seagulls. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so I have to pause. I have to mute you because you're you're metal clanging. I also, um, I also, what made me laugh too is when is when uh, when Doctor Evil's finally on the moon, and uh, he's like, "I'm gonna if you don't give me the the hundred billion or hundred yeah hundred billion dollars." I'm gonna start blowing up cities. And <laughs> Tim Robbins is the president. I got some nukes here. Let me fire one of them. <laughs> the moon. He goes, it's the moon. Would you miss it? Would you? Would you? <laughs> uh, um, do I don't even know. In the third one, what did they say that happens to Heather Graham? They don't even mention it, right? I don't know if they bring her up in the mm. third one. That's a good question. It's been a while. They, they do not bring her up this week. They don't bring her out. Okay. Okay. Pop, I don't have no problem with Back to the Future. Uh, <laughs> one, of the, one of the few fi- few films of time travel that I didn't really have a problem because it was solely based on time travel, not like yeah. uh, we we have to go back in time. You know, like yeah. only other movie that I'm okay with is Avengers Endgame because they had to. What about Terminator? Which one to go? When, when did they go back to the future on that one? Well, they go was back the, in time. That's what causes the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Didn't care for that that's one. Whole, too much. That's the whole premise of Terminator. Yeah. Um, Doctor E. it up, so that's why they have to keep sending people back. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Isn't it revealed that Doctor Evil, they're brothers or they're? I don't want to give it away. Let's watch. Let's talk about it next. Dude. Yeah, we'll talk about it with the third one. But I was like, wait a minute. They just gave this. Isn't that the third one? Because they mentioned it in this one. Remember, yes. he's like, he's it like, I'm your father. father. He's like, no, I'm not really. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're looking for consistency, this was pretty consistent. They, you know, they dropped this quick. This came out two years after the first one, so they're still they were still on that line. Um, I think there's more of a time gap between the second and the third one, though, that they made. Um, I think much more. I think it might have only been three years for the third one. I, I maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah. We saw Mustafa. Mustafa showed up. Yes. Yeah. He's darker in this one. Yeah. He is. Um, Michael York is back as Basil. Yeah. Uh, Wagner was number two again, but and then they had Rob the Lowe. younger. And Rob Lowe played the younger number two. Mm-hmm. Seth Green back as Scott Evil. Um, Mindy Serling is back as mm-hmm. Frau. Uh, Vern Troyer, Mini Me. I mean, Mini, I remember this man. Mini Me was a was a cultural thing. Yes, it was a cultural thing. Like he really blew up with that. Um, he bites. Was, what? Yeah. <laughs> he bites. Um, up here with uh, Will Ferrell doing this. <laughs> Will Ferrell's back. He's pretty funny. Um, who else is in? Oh, uh, we, we forgot the opening credits where Mike Myers is naked because he realized his signal again and he's running. Yeah. Out of the hotel. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was pretty funny. 
Yeah. You're right. It's, um, it was, uh, part three came out three years after this. Oh, one. okay. I, three I years. It was okay. fairly close, but it was, yeah. Yeah. The spy you shot. Anything else you guys want to say about this? I, mean, I didn't love the po- both of the close post credit scenes. I thought they were funny, but I think they yeah. kind of dragged on a little bit. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, with the, he had the two, two Austins. Oh. He's like, I don't yeah, blame I you, baby. Like, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm just waiting for it to get really inappropriate. Yeah. <laughs> now, I will say this. So, like, this scene you got right now, I like Austin Powers' outfits. Yes. Like, this right here, and the one that was, like, uh, at the beginning with the multicolor, uh, the whole suit was multi, like a rainbow. Yes. Those are some... Like I need well, those. I need that in my role. Well, there's the one too where he was wearing like a peach shirt and he had the the rainbow pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. That's, that's he's the only Austin awesome can pull up. It's the only he's the only one that can pull that off. <laughs> yeah, I could try though. Right, right. Um, you gotta do the haircut movie. too, though. Yeah. <laughs> this was fun. Um. Let's see. All right, what's everybody's score? See, Bizzle. Let's see what you what you think. What's your score in this movie? Um, out of what? What's what's the ranking again? Out of ten. Out of ten? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I gave it a solid nine. Woo! Mm. I had I had a lot of fun with this. I was cracking up laughing, and Robert. good thing that everybody was gone out the house because they would have wondered why I was laughing so hard. <laughs> Papa also gives it a nine. Um, all right, Cliff. Nine. Nine. Hi, Marks mm-hmm. on this, huh? Wow. Green shirt, green shirt guy? Really, so what really did I do good. last week? I think I gave the first one a seven, right? I like I it, but it's... Right? Think so. so this one I think is a lot better. I don't know if I can quite get to a nine. I really do like this one. Though. So I'm going to go eight five. Yeah. Hmm, okay, eight five. I'm going to agree with you, Green Sugar. I'm going to give it an eight five. I don't think it's on the nine level. Um, just because, because I thought it wasn't funnier. And I, I did or, actually, or, or yeah. less funnier. You know what I mean? I thought I was just consistent with what it was doing. But also, the reason why I gave him a nine because you have a lot of iconic characters that you know you could be referencing to the, today with Mini Me and Fat Man yeah. and things of that nature. Yeah. So that's why I, I got it higher than I think I gave it, um, the first one an eight. So that's why I, said I had to go at least one higher than the first one. I think in the third one, if I remember, and I'll, again, we'll, I'll find out this week, they go a little too mini me heavy. Yes, I think so. But, but it's still, I mean, I still, if I remember correctly, there's still some stuff in the third one that I, I, just let me just put it this way. Like I said, there was a guy I used to work with, a Dutch guy, and we would coach these, these movies all day long. And there's some stuff in the third one that I would turn the corner scene from far end of the aisle and just quote it at each other. So I mean, I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting and, to watch it. And movie. it's got Beyonce, baby. Schmoke yeah. the only thing I didn't like, we'll talk about it next week, but only thing I didn't like I didn't feel like Beyonce was like the leading lady like the other two ladies were in the movies. Gotcha. Like his love interest, you know what I mean? Well, I don't think she's it, it kinda to hint at it a little bit, but it does, it's not real serious. Like he's not always trying to shag Beyonce. Throughout yeah. the movie, and, but she's this. She's um. It's her first movie in real life. Yeah, right. Isn't it? I, I think, think so. Right. Oh, yeah. no. I think it is. She's uh, still part of. So Disney I think Java. it was one of those things where, like, too. you know, we want we want you in it, and we want to showcase you, but also like, it's her first time. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> well, and again, I, I I don't think I think she's still part of Destiny's Child. I don't think she's on her own yet. Hmm. Two thousand seven. I could right. be wrong. I, I mean, I'm trying to remember the timeline on that. Maybe. All right. So that that's the spy who shagged me. Uh, we everybody gave it above an eight, so I recommend that. Next week, we are doing Gold Member. That is Austin Powers three. Uh, Austin final, Powers. Final one after that. Um, then Cliff will do his trilogy after that. Um, we'll keep that a surprise. None of us know. He'll let us know next week what that is. Don't worry. I promise it'll be something that I enjoy. <laughs> I think, the, I think this, this, this series could only have gone to three because if we keep going, I mean, Mike Myers wouldn't not been on set. He's playing like six characters by then. Yeah. Right? I'm sure he's like worn out. That's why. Well, they, they are developing a fourth. Really? Are, Was it like yeah, Son they, of Awesome Powers? 
I don't know, but they I mean, he's already that would be fun. that would be fun. They are developing a fourth one, so we shall That would see. be the right thing to do because he is That not would young. be really funny is if, if 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 he's still being who he is now and his kid is like so just embarrassed that he's around. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. But then somehow it's drawn into whatever the world plot is and that would, that would be really funny. Yeah. Like dad, you gotta respect women. <laughs> right, right. He learned. He learns to respect women. Yeah, he did. Well, I think he's well, always yeah. had respect of women. I just think it's it's part it's of the culture, the, the culture of his respect of women. Yeah. Like in the sixties, on he's not a bad guy. He's just acting like his culture. And yeah. he also I mean? likes to shag. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, so that's next week is Gold Member, guys. You got to watch Gold Member so you can be up to date on that. And we'll be back um, 5 o'clock, 2 p.m. Pacific for Film and Box Office News next Sunday. Tomorrow, it's New Keys and Hot Comics of the Week, ladies and gentlemen, episode number 84. Oh, do we have mega prize, mega prize. So many books to give away. Um, <laughs> and I won't be leaving this time. <laughs> the guy will be in for the whole show um, You have to tune in So you can try to win a duck So you can be entered into the end of the month contest I think this is probably going to be one of the biggest Giveaways we've given away so far Because there's tons of giveaways I got a couple new surprises tomorrow as well um, I think you guys will like them For the giveaway And we're going to go over all the new keys All the new books, all the hot comics To get you better prepared for new comic book day This Wednesday um, and we should have a new comic book day episode this Wednesday. God willing that nothing happens to to anybody. <laughs> uh, God, take your it stuff. Be fun. Yeah, um, I will. I will be there. I, I got a feeling everything will be great this week. But tune in tomorrow, 8 p.m., 5 p.m. Pacific. New keys of hot comics of the week, so you can be entered in to win our monthly contest. All right, let's give a shout out to everybody that was in. The building. Let me get up in these comments up here. All the way to the top. All the way to the top. All right, here we go. Uh, Las Cruces was in the house. Thank you, Las Cruces, for always joining us. Big Lion Cat 646 was in the house. Thank you for joining us. John's Comics with Kids was in the house. Thank you for joining us. Black uh, Crown Comics was in the house. Thank you for joining us. Kamaria was in the house. Thank you for joining us. Comic Cap Collectibles was in the house. Thank you for joining us. Circumstances was in the house. Thank you for joining us. Big Larry Jackson. Big L was in the house. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Phil's Treehouse is in the house. Thank you for joining us. Meet Wide number one. Thank you for joining us. Aggressively relaxing was in the house. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for that Dune information. It was very, very, very helpful. Uh, dun, 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 dun. And also, finally, want to welcome back Papa Wheelie back in the building. Shout out to Papa Wheelie. Thank you for joining us in here, Papa Wheelie. Uh, hopefully, we'll all be back again next week. And then Phil will be here as well. So it'll be a big, big, big house. It's growing. It's great. It's great stuff. All right. So. For myself, for Green Shirt Guy, for Cliff, for Papa Wheelie, and for Steve Bizzle, and of course, for Phil, love you, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Black is like the brightest day, where are the heroes?